Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about cerebellitis imaging. In the imaging, cerebellitis can be shown by lateral cerebral hemisphere gray and bimetal low attenuation in the non enhanced CT, T2 flare hyper intensity, unilateral. Less common. Confluent a region of T2 prolongation affecting gray and bimetal, plus menopia or subtal parenchymal enhancement, EWI, ADC, is affected a region type cortisol increased diffusivity. Top difference of analysis. First one is demilinear aging. This is like multiple sclerosis or acute disseminated encephalomyelitis. Second is cerebellar infarct. Third, infiltrating cerebellar neoplasm. Let's see the example. This is a calcio lung and NCT in an eight years old with subtle low attenuation in the right cerebral hemisphere, as you can see indicated by cyan with a placement of four ventricles. As you notice, the cyan solid arrow and posterior poster system cyan code arrow indicate is soon. CT attenuation change are often very subtle in cerebralitis, so it's important to look for CSF space to suggest the diagnosis. This is the axial flare among in the five years old with acute cerebralitis, so nearly symmetric swelling, swelling, swelling and some signal abnormality within the cerebellar hemisphere. The majority of cerebralitis case involve both cerebral hemisphere. This is the sagittal T2 FS, <coughs> sorry, in a two years old with bilateral cerebralitis. So the extent of cerebral swelling, cyan open arrow indicate, which cause tensilar henation, wide open arrow indicate, and a placement of the port when they call and pre-pointing system cyan curve arrow indicate, resulting in absorptive hydrocephalus and trend epidemal edema, cyan solid arrow indicate of the Corpus callosum. And this is the axial T1 C plus amount in a seven years old. So, lateral meningeal enhancement. 
science of it are indicated in the right hemisphere of the cerebellum. Left dominant gear enhancement is the most common pattern of enhancement in acute cerebellitis. This is axial non enhanced CT in a four year old girl with proven influenza infection. So, cerebellar hemisphere edema, low attenuation, why solid arrow indicated, involve both hemisphere. The edema caused upward tensile herniation and a placement of the catrigeminal plate cystian, wide open arrow indicate. The result adequate the compression caused hydrocephalus by curved arrow indicate. This is the axial tissue of our demonstrated cerebellar edema, tissue hyperintense, in both post K and Y mirror, Y solid arrow indicate. Note the compressed port ventricle, Y curved arrow indicate. The axial flare of our in a 12 years old. With acute onset of cerebellar ataxia, demonstrate high signal in the left cerebellar hemisphere, cyan curve arrow indicated. Note mild mass effect on fourth ventricle. Thank you.